Pink Mountains. It's only for the ultra fit and think again. Four Devon men are in training to prove almost anyone can do it as they bid to take on this peak, Mount Kilimanjaro. Among them is Chris, who has a form of cerebral palsy. Now, if successful, the group think Chris may be the first person with his type of disability to reach the summit of Africa's highest mountain. Well, as they train, we sent Claire Manning to meet them. Today, they're training on the sands of Goodrington Beach. But in a few months, they're taking on the slopes of Kilimanjaro. How many days did you walk up the mountain? They meticulously talk about what's coming up with Chris in the middle here because he has a form of cerebral palsy and they think he may be the first person with his type of disability to take on Africa's highest mountain. The nice thing about what Chris is doing is proving the boundaries to be broken and just because you have some sort of disability, it doesn't matter if it's physical or mental, it can be that was really, you can do these challenges. They say people may think they're an unlikely group to be taking on this challenge. Alan has type 2 diabetes. John says he's a bit of weight to shift. They'll also be joined by their mate Paul, who in his late 60s admits he also needs to shift some pounds. But it's maybe Chris who will face the greatest challenge. Chris and I have been walking every weekend um, to get to know each other, so, so signs of any distress that Chris might have. Chris is super excited. Um, he's never been on a plane before. Um, he's certainly never been to Africa. So all of those things are important for him to feel comfortable and calm because um, he can get quite stressed and it's really important for him to feel that he's quite comfortable with me and that he can be kept calm when we're up in the mountain. They want to raise £10,000 to buy an interactive iPad table for a Newton Abbott daycare centre and they hope local companies will sponsor them. How are you feeling about this massive walk that you're going to be doing? I'm, I'm very happy, very good. I'm, I'm, I'm. Uh, she see the, the little birds go um, uh, um, the crickets, crickets. So the crickets and yeah. the birds. But no matter how enthusiastic you are, when climbing Kilimanjaro, altitude sickness can affect anyone. So by making close bonds beforehand, the team hopes to be able to read Chris's body language should he feel unwell. When you get to the top of Kilimanjaro, what are you going to do? Big cheer. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to feel amazing, I imagine. And you're going to be on top yeah. of top. the highest point in Africa, yeah. looking over the clouds. Yeah. What's that going to feel like, do you think? Um, 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 there's no top, no, there's no top, very close, top. When you're with Chris, he often tells you he's happy, like he's on top of the world. You can only imagine how happy he'll feel if he makes it to well. Manning, ITV News, Sands. What an awesome challenge. All the very best to Chris and the team with their training and their mentor. Yes, we'll keep you up to date with their progress. We're moving on.